Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, chicas and chicos. Uh, converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify our parts of our mixed numbers. So this is my whole number, this is my denominator, and this is my numerator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the, new, the denominator by the whole number, so 3 times 3, and I'm going to add the numerator, plus 2. So 3 times 3 is 11, plus 2, sorry, is 9, plus 2 is 11, and then it just comes, the denominator stays the same, so it becomes 11 over 3. So that's the algorithm that we use, denominator times whole number plus the numerator. Um, so let's try another one. Let's do uh, 5 and 1 4. So whole number, denominator. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to make this my denominator so I don't forget. So 5 times 4, which is 20, plus 1, which is 21. So my numerator becomes 21 over 4. Let's try... Uh, 1 and 11 twelfths. So whole number, my denominator is 12. So 12 times 1, which is 12, plus 11, which is 23, over 12. Uh, what do we want to try now? Let's try something that's maybe a little bit tricky. Let's try 10 and two-thirds. So my denominator is going to be three. So three times ten, thirty, plus two, thirty-two over three. Tens are a little bit tricky sometimes. Let's try a bigger number. Let's try twenty-five and one-fifth, right? So I know I'm going to have five as a denominator. So 5 times 25, well, let's see, 5 times 5 is 25, so 5, okay, the 2, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, 125 plus 1, so my new improper fraction is 126 over 5. And let's try one like uh, 26 and 1 half. So, denominator, 2 times 26 is going to be 52, plus 1 is going to be 53 over 2. So that's converting mixed numbers to improper fractions. Let's just take a little, put a break here, and let's try doing some improper fractions to mixed numbers. So let's try 7 over 3. So I know my denominator is going to be 3, so 3 goes into 7 two whole times, and then how many more to get to 7? 1. So 3 and, I'm sorry, 2 and 1 third. It works, that works really nice when you're doing this kind of setup. So let's try something, a couple more, and let's do uh, 11 fourths. So I have 4. So 4 goes into 11 two times, which is 8. 4 times 2 is 8. And then how many more to get to 11? 3 more to get to 11. Now, that's easy to do in your head. So let's try something that's maybe a little more difficult. Let's try uh, 131 divided by 9. All right? So this one we may have to actually do. We're going to do 9 here. We may actually have to do some division. So let's do 131 divided by 9. So 9 goes into there one whole time. And that subtract gives us a 4. 41, 9 goes into 41 uh, four times, which is 36. Subtract, you end up with 5. So I end up with 14 and 5 ninths. We'll do one more of those because those are a little bit tricky. Let's do let's do something like two hundred and twenty-eight 
12 over 13. So I know my denominator is going to be 13. So 12 goes into, I'm sorry, 13 and 21 goes in one time, 13, subtract, you get 82. 13 goes into there. Maybe seven times. No, six times. Six, which is eight, carry the one. 78, wow, that came out nice. Subtract, you get four. So 16 and four over 13. So we've converted mixed numbers to improper fractions and we've converted improper fractions to mixed numbers. There we go. Thank you.